This is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the first mobile phone to run the latest Android 4.0 operating system, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. The Samsung Galaxy Nexus has 1.2 GHz dual-core processor. It has a 4.65 inch HD Super AMOLED screen with a 16:9 aspect ratio and 1280 by 720 resolution. It weighs just 135 grams and at its thickest point is 8.94 millimeters. On the rear is what Samsung calls hyperskin and it has a nice tactile feel. As you can see on the front of the device, there are no hard buttons, only soft keys. These buttons move depending on how you hold the phone, so they'll always be at the bottom if you want them to be when it's in landscape or portrait mode. On the bottom, you have a USB port and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. And on the side here is what Samsung's calling a pogo pin. This allows it to be docked with a number of accessories. The device also includes NFC technology. This allows the device to share snippets of information with other NFC enabled products. The way that you do this with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is by holding it back to back with a similar device. The phone then recognizes that it's being paired and it will allow you to send the information using Android Beam. And then you can see it's received by the other device almost instantly. It's the first device to run the latest version of the Android operating system. That's Android 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. Ice Cream Sandwich brings with it a few new features. Multitasking is much easier, and you can access your notifications by sweeping down from the top. This can also be achieved when it's locked. With it being a Google phone, it has great Google integration. For example, Gmail is pre-installed and there's access to the Google Android market. When checking your Gmail, you now get a two-line preview of your emails. You can also open up an email and then swipe from side to side to go forward to the next email or back to the last. The calendar view has also changed. You can set it to day, week, month, year, and in certain modes you can sweep from side to side to move between days. And when you have a particularly busy area in your calendar, you can zoom to enlarge so you can see more text that's stored in the appointments. It's also really easy to take a screen grab of what's showing on the screen. You just hold down the power button and the volume down, and that's stored in your gallery. There's a nice data usage setting, and it allows you to set limits and warnings on how much data you're using. So the orange line could be your warning, and it will tell you when you're approaching that, and the red line will be your limit to stop you exceeding that. You can also look at the data used on an app by app basis. So if we look here at Google+, we can see how much data that's using, and if we want it to stop using so much data, we can set it to stop running in the background. With Ice Cream Sandwich, it's very easy to make folders to store your apps. You just hold your finger down on one and drag it over another. Ice Cream Sandwich also gives multi-tab browsing when you're surfing on the internet. If you click on the icon here, you can open up new pages and you can have up to 16 open at any one time and easily move between them. To close any of these pages, you just sweep them to one side. A similar feature is available on the Recently Accessed Applications tab. This is a great shortcut between applications that you've recently used and allows multitasking to be really simple. And just like with the multi-tabbed browsing on the internet, you can just sweep the applications to one side if you want them to be removed from the list. On the front of the device is a 1.3 megapixel camera for video calls. And on the rear, there's a 5 megapixel camera with flash. And the shutter delay is minimal on this camera. The camera can also shoot 1080p, that's full HD video, and there are a number of effects that can be added to the video or your pictures. There's also a panoramic mode, that allows you to stitch several images together to make a wider shot. When shooting video, you can add a number of silly face effects, such as you can enlarge somebody's eyes, shrink their mouth, or squash their head. The photos that you've taken are stored in your gallery, and these are very easy to edit. There are a number of effects that you can add to your photo, and a number of filters you can apply. You can also change the color saturation, and you can evil doodle on your images. With the phone being Google integrated, it has easy access to Google search. And at any point when you're entering text, you can also speak rather than type. There's also access to Google Books and Google Movies. Google Music is a service that's 
in beta stage at the moment in the US and it may be coming to the UK soon, but there's no confirmation on that. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. We're going to be buying this handset soon and putting it through its full lab paces so we know how it compares with the likes of other mobile phones. But in the meantime, if you want more information on this phone and hundreds of mobile phone reviews, go to our website at which.co.uk forward slash mobile.